Good morning, welcome back. We are back for part two of the Porsche 944. I've got Tamara here with me and we're gonna tackle some stuff. Uh, and first we're gonna maybe go over some of the things that we've already done that we should have videoed that we didn't do. So I'm gonna flip it around and let Tamara tell you about it. So once again, this is Tamara's Porsche. What all have we done so far? wipers and we cleaned the interior yes the steam cleaning is good <laughs> inside and out i mean it's got a few little things it's a 40 year old car though so that's to be expected but it smells a whole heck of a lot better um but yeah and she's so cute <laughs> we also did the power steering pump I did the electric fan that you probably saw in Jared's video that was locked up that became a catastrophe. Um, that's all done. And now we're about to tackle the fuel pump because we've driven the car how far? I don't exactly know, but I think like 300 miles. Yeah, the fuel gauge doesn't work and the speedometer and odometer don't work. Uh, so we're working on tackling that. We got our E3 sticker put on. Y'all come store some cars with us and work on stuff together. And uh, it's funny, we've got this nice shop to work in and we're gonna about to do stuff in our two-car garage. But anyway, let's tackle this fuel pump and probably gonna work on that. You're jacking. No. There you go. Huh? <laughs> do your job. <laughs> Couple pumps, do you got it. You got Good it. Job. Come on. I don't want to be on video again. <laughs> don't record that. It's coming. Do your job. Don't put our tag on there. <laughs> it's already in there now. Cool. All right, I'll take it. Do I look good in the stance? You look fabulous. <laughs> All right, so. Jared did a temporary fix here to try and make sure that we had enough to make it serviceable. And now we're going to remove it all. So this stuff's just held in here with some zip ties. I've taken this loose once before because I didn't realize that the whole thing was going to have to come out. I don't know what this is, Jared. This is the stickiest substance known to man, though. I know that. Um, it was really, really difficult to come apart the first time. So you can see he kind of looped it around to make sure that there was no kinks. And now, I think I need to pull this contraption down, if I remember correctly. And then we're going to drain what's left of the fuel. I really wanted to not get wet. And I'm not sure how I'm going to avoid that at this point. Just giddy up down. Hopefully the whole fuel cell doesn't come crashing down on top of me. That would be unfortunate. We'll see. This is not all about to come crashing down on top of my face. Great. But Jared looked like he had it out without... Wrong size. Without too much issue, so... I'm going to trust in the questionable garage making solid decisions. Ah! It's all in my eyes. Before, more than once. We have. Get my Kenda hat back on. I gotta represent. Is that better? Jesus. <laughs> okay. other tactics tis mine I must get it back 
Can't we just get a new one? That looks gross. A new what? I don't know. Rubber thing. No. I don't think you can. Because it's for a different phone. Oh. Did you just break my thing? I don't think so. Sorry, loud enough in there. Nearly lost life and limb, and you don't even care. I do care. I just don't want you to mess up my little handy dandy little tool. That thing made it through that Atlanta airport with me. <laughs> what is that? Uh, my little knife. That's insanity. <laughs> I can't take a big toothpaste, but you can take a big. Oh, they, it was an accident. They let me through, I'm sure. That should make us all feel better. Mm -hmm. right, that's your new strainer. We can finally move our big bomb out of the way. That's too big. I didn't bring my mascot down. Oh, did you get that 90? Yeah. Okay. There's that. I don't need that anymore. Um, so dirty now. Ruined it. Can't go in my purse. Just wash it in the sink. It'll be fine. You'll love it. So weird. All right, Derek, what'd you do here? We get a Phillips head out of our. Actually, I think this. Ha. I feel like this has become your tool, not mine. I feel like you're correct. I mean, you <laughs> just use a self tapper to put it in. That's funny, Jared. Adjustable is always the perfect size. Got him. Mascot. That's our team mascot, in case anybody didn't know. It's the adjustable wrench. Probably should have uh, paid attention to which wire goes where. Oh, my Jesus. Search it. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. It says brown is ground. I don't know, but I'm going to make sure. Because he had done something messing with the polarity of it. You're calling the expert. It says brown is ground. What was that? Uh, that's the 454 Big Block. It sounded like the world was coming to an end. Uh, yes, it feels like the world is coming to an end. Uh, quick question. I'm doing the fuel pump now. And um, just making sure brown should be ground and the green should be positive. Is that correct? Correct. But, so in the video where I said they were crisscrossed, they weren't. I was dumb and wired it wrong. Patch the wires up exactly how they are. Okay. It says brown should be ground online. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah. So on the pump, the plus, plus to plus, uh, minus to minus. All right. So, all right, let me run back into this thing. All right. All right. See ya. Who was right? Hmm? Who was right? I said brown was ground. Well, tomorrow quit me, but figured it out anyway. Got the wire plug back up. I had to pull this line where is it i can't get my finger there i'd pull this line loose drop the whole thing down and the weird thing is the new pump came with this in it you have to take that out keep the crush washer and then this 
just threads straight into the new pump. So now I'm about to tighten it all down. Turn the key on. You don't have your key. Oh, idiot. Hang on, let's try again with the battery connected. Is it on? Really? You don't feel like it's on. No, the key. Okay, well, things have devolved greatly. Um, tomorrow I took it for a test drive and it was leaking from right here. It started leaking, unfortunately. And uh, tried to tighten this up a little bit because I noticed the seal was not all the way up against the face and it got real tight, but it wasn't all the way up against it. So I tried to loosen it and it broke the entire piece out. So historically you would just have to drop the uh, tank and replace the entire tank, which I recently found out after talking to Jared requires pulling the entire transmission transaxle. Um, don't want to do that. Uh, so there's a, company that makes a replacement piece so we're going to try and do it that way basically it drops through the fuel sending unit area and has like threaded pieces that come out of here and you just put the strainer back in the way that it normally would so god willing that will work so pulled the carpet up in there i found i guess a bag he had previously uh had these, I guess, for some of his things that he thought might be going wrong with the car. But this is where fuel sending unit is. Looks like it was a mouse house at some point. So I'm gonna vacuum that. Okay, so this is a little part that 928 Parts RS, I think, sells. So basically you have to drop it in through the fuel sending unit and then it comes out the fuel tank like where that other piece used to go so i'm about to do that so i used this coat hanger and stuck it all the way through the fuel sending unit and out the bottom of the fuel tank so now i'm going to feed it through and have it come out the bottom all right so it's in there you can see it's sticking through i just got to fish it through and kind of pull it in. All right, so I've got it pulled through. You can see the threads are sticking through easily. Now I'm sticking the strainer in. It's actually a pretty cool dang product. Now it's going to pull those two things tight. That's finger tight. I'm going to show you through here you can see the little tab sticking up down there and it's going to turn as I spin it and bottom out on the bottom of the tank and then it'll be forced to tighten up pretty dang cool pretty good now we're making the exhaust hanger I just took a piece of like quarter inch thick round solid steel stock put it in the vise and bend now we have a little piece to hook into the rubber and I'll show you 
kind of how I'll measure it to cut it. As you can see, the old one had broken off here. So I've got this new one made. I can see where the weld stops. I'm gonna cut it about right there. And come back over here and weld it. Laura, how confident are we? In what? That this is fixed. That's 75%. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to fuel sending unit. Let's see how this goes. Getting try hard off. It's officially mine then. It's now yours. We're doing headlights after that. Got it. Got some LED conversions. Oh yeah. All right, let's take it up the street, see if you can see. Turn them off. I got a zip tie one thing. Turn the lights off. You getting it? We couldn't see good with the other ones. <laughs> Thanks, Rainex. And we got headlights on. Why don't you click the headlights? I took it on the test drive that uh, everybody in the south goes to. Waffle House. <laughs> Get back in. One last thing. Should be good. All right, we're driving. And we can see Praise Jesus, there is light. so much light. <laughs> so what's next? Um, I want to get the lights for the dash because it's kind of dim. It looks way brighter on this camera than it does in reality. <laughs> yeah. um, the shock for my hatch. Yep, rear hatch doesn't want to stay up. Yeah. We want to mess with something with the radio. Yeah. And heat and air conditioning or something that we want to investigate later. Cruise control is something later. And there was something else. Um, we got the wipers on. Oh, the speedometer. Oh yeah, the speedometer. speedometer. Alright folks, that's it for this. Um, hope you've enjoyed some more, like part two of the restoration that we've continued on after Jared got done. There will be more to come and lots of things with the drift car here shortly and maybe some more surprise cars coming down the pipe. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, take a moment to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.